Have you ever wondered how much professional basketball players make overseas? We've compiled the largest list ever made. You'll find out the average and max salaries for all the top leagues in Europe. We're gonna talk about the highest paid player in each one of the top leagues in Europe. We're also gonna tell you what the team budgets and salary budgets are for all those leagues. And if you want more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. We're gonna talk about the United States because you can't talk about basketball salaries without talking about the NBA. NBA players are the highest paid basketball players in the world. The NBA is actually one of the most successful professional sports leagues on the planet. The NBA brought in 8.3 billion US dollars for the 2019-2020 season. An average salary in the NBA, 7.7 .7 million US dollars. The highest paid player in the NBA for the 2019-2020 season was Stephen Curry at 40.2 million US dollars. There's 30 teams in the NBA with a max salary cap at 109.14 million US dollars. The salary cap is basically the budget for the entire player roster. Any team that surpasses that 109.14 million US dollars has to pay a luxury tax and that luxury tax is spread out between the rest of the teams in the NBA. The NBA regular season is six months long with 82 games. An extra two months for playoffs and NBA finals. For a total of eight months, the NBA G League is the second best paying basketball league in the United States. Salaries have consistently been getting better in the NBA G League. An average base salary in the NBA G League is 35,000 US dollars. That's roughly 7,000 US dollars per month for a five month season. Now on top of that average base salary of 35K, there's also bonuses. A training camp bonus is when a NBA G League player gets invited to an NBA team's training camp. That's 50K right there. There are also things called call-ups. So basically when an NBA team calls you up to be a part of their squad. That's on average, about 25% of these D-League players make 44,000 US dollars on top of their base salary. There's also two-way contracts. That means you're playing for the NBA team and you're playing for the G-League team. You're splitting time between the both. You can get anywhere between 77,000 US dollars and 385,000 US dollars on top of your base salary. G League players are also known to get bonuses based on performances, reaching performance goals, helping their teams to the playoffs and winning the finals. There's also the select contract, or as it's called, professional pack. These are for young elite players that are 18 or over, which NBA has taken special interest in. NBA G League teams help with housing costs as well as insurance benefits. Taxes. Man, we're only gonna talk about this for a couple of seconds because I know everybody hates talking and thinking about taxes. Even the words just irritating. So, in the NBA, you're gonna be paying roughly half of your salary. Depending on which state you're playing in, you're gonna pay roughly half of your salary to taxes. If you play overseas, you're not gonna be paying any money to taxes. Your team is gonna be taking care of the taxes. Now, if you're an American citizen and you're playing overseas, you're still gonna have to claim your salary overseas to the IRS in the US. And if you're an overseas player playing overseas, then the same thing. You're probably gonna have to claim your taxes in your home country. But hey, forget about it. Nobody wants to hear about taxes anyway. Okay, let's jump into the top paying basketball leagues in Europe. We got number one, the Euro League. What is the EuroLeague? So many players tell me, hey, I wanna play in the EuroLeague. It's basically one competition that includes some of the best teams in Europe and some of the teams that have the biggest budgets in Europe. So most of the time, the better players and the highest paid players are playing in the EuroLeague. But this year, for example, in 2020, there's only, there's only 18 teams in the EuroLeague. Of these 18 teams, there's 
teams in various countries. Say for example, Spain has four teams. Russia has two teams. Turkey has two teams. Greece has two teams. So all the top basketball countries have teams in the EuroLeague, usually their best teams. All those teams get together and they compete against each other. The EuroLeague is the second best competition just behind the NBA. And yes, the EuroLeague is better than the NCAA and is better than the G League. Actually, a lot of EuroLeague teams will compete. I'm not saying they're gonna beat NBA teams, although they have in preseasons, they compete with NBA teams. The big difference between the EuroLeague and the NBA is that EuroLeague budgets are less than half of NBA budgets. Here's just no comparison. The lowest budgeted team in the NBA is still more than twice as much as the highest budgeted team in the EuroLeague. Max salaries in the EuroLeague can get up to 4 million. Nikola Mirotic for FC Barcelona is making roughly 4 million US dollars a year. That's after taxes. Average salaries for import players can be between 400, 500, and 800,000 US dollars, with many players making a million US dollars a season. Let's get on to the player salaries. The Spanish Liga ACB or Liga Endesa with 18 teams. The highest budgets in the ACB are Real Madrid with 47 million and FC Barcelona with 40 million US dollars. The lowest budget in the ACB is anywhere between 3 to 5 million range, with some teams getting a little bit below that. And the max salaries are Nikola Mirotic for 4 million US dollars, Sergio Yot, Walter Tavares, and Corey Higgins, each gaining about 2 million US dollars per season. Now, average salaries for non beginners or more advanced players are going to be 250 to 500,000 US dollars per season. The Turkish Professional League, the Basketball Super League, has 16 teams. Multiple teams have budgets of over 10 million US dollars. Lowest budgets are anywhere between 3 to 5 million range. You could find a few teams a little bit below that. Max salaries, Shane Larkin with 3.7 million US dollars, Nando De Colo with 2.4, and Jan Vesling with 2.2 million US dollars per season. And average salaries for non beginners or more experienced players are going to be 250 to 500K. The Russian Professional Basketball League, or the VTB United League, has 13 teams. The highest budget, Siska Moscow with 40 million, and Kimki Moscow with 30 million US dollars per season. The lowest budget is probably around 2.5 million US dollars. And the max salaries would be Alexei Shved with 4 million US dollars, Mike James and Nikola Milutinov with 2.5 million US dollars each. Average salaries for non beginners, more experienced players are going to be 200 to 450K per season. The German Basketball Bundesliga or the Easy Credit BBL has 18 teams. Highest budget would be Bayern Munich with 22 million US dollars and there's four teams just over 10 million US dollar range. Lowest budget is probably around 1 to 3 million US dollars per season. Greg Moreau has the largest max salary with 1 million US dollars per season and average salaries for non-beginners and more experienced players are going to be between 100 and 350,000 US dollars per season. The Greek Professional Basketball League, or Greek A1, has 12 teams. The max budget are three teams a little bit over 10 million US dollars per season. The lowest budgets are around 500K to 1.5 million US dollars per season. And the max salaries, NBA player Nick Alates, 2.55 million US dollars, and Costa Slukas with 1.8 million US dollars per season. Average salaries for non beginners or more experienced import players are 60 to 250K per season. The Israeli Professional Basketball League, or Winter League, has 12 teams. Highest budget would be Maccabi Tel Aviv with 26.5 million US dollars per season. Lowest budget would be roughly 1 million US dollars, but it could be lower. 
Max salary, Scotty will back in with 1.7 million US dollars per season. And average salaries for non-beginner import players would be 80 to 250K per season. The Italian Lega Basket Serie A has 17 teams. The max budget is 28 million from Olimpiano Milano. Lowest budget is roughly one to 1.3 million US dollars per season. And max salaries would be Sergio Rodriguez with 2 million US dollars per season. Average salaries for non-beginners is about 180 to 350K per season. The French Professional Basketball League, or Jeep Elite LMB Pro A, has 18 teams. The highest budgets would be two teams above 10 million US dollars per season. And the lowest budgets, you won't find a team below 1 million US dollars. Max salaries would be AJ Slaughter with 300K per season. And average salaries for non-beginner import players would be anywhere between 80 to 200,000 US dollars per season. Just a little bit of information about the data we compiled for this video and this article. Unlike the NBA, team budgets and salaries are not public information. So all the information that we're getting are estimates and rumors. This video is made towards the end of November 2020. So it's during COVID, but our values are more pre-COVID. Make sure you comment below if you have any questions about anything. And go ahead and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter if you want to be updated when new information comes out.